Let's work on balancing subtraction equations with operands up to 100. The question reads, which number makes this equation true? So let's use our scratch pad. Now a equal sign is kind of like a teeter-totter. This side has to equal this side, otherwise it's not equal. So let's look at solving the side that we can and make the other side equal. This side has three minus one, so we can solve that. Three minus one equals two. So two equals 10 minus something. So if I have 10 and I subtract this number, I'll be left with two. If I wanted to rewrite this, I could rewrite it as 10 minus two equals something, and we'll know that that number is eight. So let's close our scratch pad, write eight. That's right. So what number makes the equation true? Let's do the same thing and look at the two sides of the equal sign. We have one side here and one side here. We can't solve this one yet, but we can solve four minus two. So we know that four minus two is two equals nine minus something. So we can rewrite this again by switching around what we're subtracting and say nine minus two equals blank. So nine minus two equals seven. So nine minus seven also equals two. So let's close that scratch pad, type in seven. Nice work. What number makes the equation true? Let's use that scratch pad and look at the two sides of our equal sign, one side and two side. Before, we were able to solve the left side. Well, now we can solve the right side. So this is six minus four. Well, six minus four is two. So that equals three minus something. So three minus something equals two. Since these are pretty low numbers, you might know that automatically that three minus one will give us two. So let's close that scratch pad type in one and answer that problem. Super. Now let's open up that scratch pad to figure out which number makes this equation true. We have four minus three on this side and five minus something on this side. So let's solve four minus three. Four minus three equals one. So one equals five minus something. Well, if I only want one left, I can also think of this as five minus one equals something, and five minus one equals four. So five minus four would equal one. So close our scratch pad, type in four. Awesome. So what number makes the equation true? So we're gonna use our scratch pad like always, and we're gonna see the two different sides of our equal sign. So the right side of our equal sign here says nine minus three. If we have nine and we take away three, we'll be left with six equals something minus two. So if I have something minus two, I will get six. So this number is going to be, need to be greater than six, two greater than six. So six plus two will give us eight. So eight minus two equals Six. So let's close that scratch pad, type in eight, super work. So let's use the scratch pad to help us again figure out which number makes the equation true. We have eight minus something on one side, four minus one on the other. So four minus one equals three. So eight minus this number gives us three. So we can reverse the order of our the numbers we're subtracting and say eight minus three equals something. Well, eight minus three equals five. So eight minus five also equals three. So let's close that. Let's look for five. There it is. What number makes the equation true? Scratch pad. We have 10 minus something on this sign and seven minus three on this side. So seven minus three equals four. So 10 minus this number will give us four. Again, if you're not sure, we can switch the numbers we're subtracting and say 10 minus four 
equals something. We know we can do this because of fact families. So 10 minus something equals six. Well, that's 10 minus six equals four here. So nice work, let's close that out. Look for six. What number makes the equation true? As always, let's open up our scratch pad. Look at the two sides of the equal sign. We can't solve the left side, so let's focus on the right. Four minus three equals one. Something minus two. Well, since this is the first number, that's our total, which means it's gonna be our largest number. So something minus two equals one. Well, three minus two equals one. So let's close our scratch pad, type in three. Again, let's open that scratch pad to help us figure out which number makes this equation true. We have 10 minus nine on this side and something minus two on this side. So 10 minus nine equals one equals something, our total, minus two. So my answer is gonna be one. So this number needs to be bigger if I'm taking away two and getting one left. So one equals three minus two. So let's close that scratch pad, look for three, and we are on to our very last one. So which number makes the equation true? Let's use our scratch pad one last time. Seven minus four on the left and four minus something on the right. So seven minus four equals three, which equals four minus something. So since we already know the total, we could reverse this and say four minus three equals something. Well, four minus three equals one. So four minus one equals three. Nice job. Thanks for helping me balance some equations with operands up to 100.